His future is so violent. He's gotta wear shades. Hey, what's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Common Rider Ghost DX Deep Slasher. So here we are, and there it is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here, we have the Deep Slasher. We have Deep Spectre right there. On this side of the box, you got Spectre all like, yeah. What you gonna do about it? And on the other side of the box, Spectre's all like, yeah, what you gonna do about it? On the top here, you have the Deep Slasher in both of its modes, and Spectre all like, yeah, what you gonna do about it? But on the bottom again, Deep Slasher, and <laughs> da, da, you know what he's thinking. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots, it does this, that, the other, and of course you get Sword Pac-Man! And that's basically it for the packaging. So moving right along, here we have the Deep Slasher, the weapon of Deep Spectre. Um, and as you can see, it is basically a repaint of the Sunglass Slasher with, a, uh, with one significant piece of remolding, as you can see right there. Uh, but let's get in close. Yes, you can see the details. Now, obviously, the big remolded part here is the sunglasses itself. And you can see it's just some nice spiky looking sunglasses. It even has a nose for some reason, but okay. <laughs> I can work with it. But um, still, very nice all around. Love the metallic paint they used. I right did the metallic blues, the reds. A uh, little bit of silver. It is a shame that the silver doesn't extend past this point. It would have been nice if it just went all the way up in here, maybe painted all this as well, but uh, well, it is what it is. But we have that. Uh, the blade itself is done in a purple transclearing plastic, and it's that soft, bendy plastic, so it has some bend to it for safety reasons, even though if you crack somebody upside the head with this, it would hurt anyway, but hey, safety. I don't know. But moving down to the handle here, again, some nice metallic paints going on here. And you got to the bottom of the handle here, done with that purple transparent plastic, as well as some purple plastic up here, purple plastic right up in here. Uh, the body of the sword itself is cast in blue plastic with a nice metal flake finish. Which I absolutely love. Has a little bit of sparkly, sparkly to it. And on the back here, lots of molded detail. Very nicely done. The back is painted pretty well as well. Battery compartments right here. Takes two AAAs on off switch. Speaker right there. Obviously, they didn't paint as much on this side of the, uh, of the blade. But again, it is what it is. And if you can open up the sunglasses, you can see the... Compartments in there for the icons they do have some nice molding to them as well as the various buttons that the icons are going to be pushing And yeah, so you go. So for a comparison, let's see if we can do this We'll bring in the sunglass slasher So I can see it. There we go. As you can see it is the exact same toy. The only difference is just the glasses <laughs> But the exact same toy so there you have that. So yeah, this does not come with any icons whatsoever. It's just the sword, and that's all you get. What you see is what you get, um, which is fine. I'm fine with it. So there you go. So let's just get down to some noises, shall we? Let's. So again, your on-off switch is right here. Turn it on, and you get... Deep Slasher. Deep Slasher. Right there. So now we are in sword mode, so just pull the trigger and you get... Nice slashing noise there. See that LED going off in there? And it is a different noise from the sunglass slasher. You have that. So, I like that they didn't, you know, recycle the noises. I appreciate that. So, there you have that, and that's pretty much all it does in sword mode. And then you have the this little clear release button right here to unlock the blade. Swing it around. And now you are in gun mode. Now you pull the trigger. You get a firing noise. You can rapid fire if you want. Right there. And just for a comparison, we'll 
we'll try out the sunglass slasher. And I think this is the same noise. They sound similar. The deep slasher is louder though, I will say that. But it does sound like the same firing noise for the blaster, so. There you have that. Now you can get a abbreviated version of the Omega attack if you hold down the trigger with the standby noise. See a light going off in there. And when you let it go, get the Omega Dumb and then you just get one brief firing noise and that's it. You don't get the big explosions and all that. So you get that and then we put it back into sword mode and hold the trigger down. And let it go. Omega Giri. Get the Omega Giri with just the basic slash noise. So you can get abbreviated versions of the Omega attacks without any icons in it. So now let's bring in some icons. So of course, this is meant to work with your deep specta icon, but actually we won't use this just yet. First, we will bring in just two regular icons. So we have Ghost Inspector. You can use any icons whatsoever. They'll make the same noises, but I'm just using these two for now. So we'll lift up the glasses, plug in the Ode icon, make sure everything's lined up. Push that in. And we will plug in Spectres. More of a swaying kind of music. Anyway, bring the glasses down. Get the standby noise. And then pull the trigger. And there you have the full Omega Giri. Right there. So now we'll go into gun mode. And just lift up the sunglasses. And bring them back down. And pull the trigger. the Omega Dama and that just looks creepy with this especially with the nose it just makes it look creepier it just makes it look like more of a face is staring at me that's just that's a little disturbing I'm just gonna say it's just that's, that's a little disturbing but anyway we'll raise that up uh, and uh, to get the icons out you want to push this clear button right here in the bottom and you just push them out through the back here Get out! There we go. So there you have that. So now we will bring in the Deep Spectre icon. So now we will plug Spectre into this slot right here. Oops, make sure everything's lined up. And now we will plug in Deep Spectre. I just wanted to do that. <laughs> plug it in. Close it up. Stand by noise. And pull the trigger. And there you have the Giga Omega Dama. Right there. So now we'll go into sword mode. And lift the glasses up. 
And bring him back down. And pull the trigger. And there you have the Giga Omega Giri. Explosions and things because it's awesome. So <laughs> there you have that. So let's pop these out. Get out. Get out. And uh, there you go. I believe that is everything that this does. If I missed something or did something wrong, do forgive me. Like I say, I always do my best with these toys, um, given that I can't read the instructions. <laughs> I do the best I can, so if I miss anything, I apologize. But um, yeah, that's basically it for the Deep Slasher. Um, it's a cool toy. I like the Sunglass Slasher, so... I like this just as much. Um, believe it or not, I actually appreciate the fact that this doesn't come with any icons because usually the way they try to sell you on the roleplay toys is that it comes with the DX version of the collectible gimmick. So you kind of have to buy it if you're collecting the DX versions. So, you know, like with the Sunglass Slasher, the Sunglass Slasher came with the DX um, uh, Ryoma and Goemon icons and... Again, if you're collecting the DX versions of the icons, you gotta buy the sunglasses, I'm sure, because you want those DX versions. But, um, you know, so it kind of makes you buy it, even if you don't want it. But, um, I, I like the fact that since this doesn't come with any icons, you really don't have to buy this if you don't want it. Um, so I, I can actually appreciate that, <laughs> believe it or not. So, um, but yeah, overall though, pretty cool toy. Like I said, I like the sunglass slasher, so I like this just as much. And you do get some new noises out of it. And yeah. So there you go. Now I picked this up from CS Toys, but there are many other sites you can go to for stuff like this if you are interested, such as Hobby Link Japan, AmiAmi, Hobby Search, Mandaraki. Of course, there's always eBay and Amazon, but do be wary of their pricing. And you can also check out BigBadToyStore.com for some Kamen Rider items. They mostly sell figure arts at this point, but if you are interested, I'll put a link to their site in the description down below. And you can also check out my Kamen Rider Ghost playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below, so check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Kamen Rider Ghost DX Deep Slasher, and this is M Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing, be geek, be proud, boom in your face! Wait, let me take that poem back for one minute because there's something I want to talk about because I know somebody's going to ask. Um, yes, you can plug Tokon Boost into the Deep Slasher, obviously, because it's the exact same toy. So, yeah, it's going to fit in there as well. Um, but it's not going to give you any new noises. It's still going to make the same Giga Omega attack sound um, because basically how this works is this horn right here on the left just pushes... This button, I don't know if you can see it, that clear button right there on the side, and that tells the toy, okay, it's time to do the Giga Omega attack. So it doesn't matter whether you plug in Tokon Boost or Deep Spectre, all it knows is that little button on the side is being pressed, time to do the Giga Omega attacks. It doesn't know one from the other. So there you have that. Uh, Necrom! You can use Necrom in this toy. Uh, you cannot plug it into this chamber because it doesn't, it just doesn't fit. You can see, you can only get it in about halfway. You can't push it all the way back so it locks, as you can see. Just to the way it's shaped, it just doesn't work. Like, as you can see here, with a regular icon, you can push it all the way back. And it will lock into place just fine. But um, due to the way this icon is shaped, there's just not enough room for it. So it just kind of gets stuck kind of halfway through, so... You can't use it in that slot, but you can use it in this slot. It will fit because, as you can see, it's molded to have that extra bit of room in there. So on this side, it does work. So you can use Necrom to uh, get the regular Omega attacks out of this toy if you want. So There you go. There you have that. Yeah. I'm really going to go now. Bye. Boom!